What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Hold on, y'all. Alright, you guys. You're going through a bad patch in your life. If you're frustrated, you're aggravated. You just lost a loved one. Life is uh, pretty much a way you see it going down for you. Please cast your cares on Jesus. He loves you. Stay motivated. Stay positive. Don't give up, you guys. Your blessing is on the way. God loves you. He cares about you. And everything, he ain't forgot about you either. I repeat, God has not forgot about you. So make sure you keep your heads up, and keep your head up and everything. And keep going. In Jesus' name. Amen. Real quick, you guys. If your first time tuning into my channel, Please understand, I talk about real shit on my channel. Bullshit, nobody. I'm here to tell you real and unedited, straightforward, no bullshit. If somebody came to you, said some negative about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell. Because I ain't got time for the bullshit, I ain't got time for the nonsense. I'm here to give it to you real, unedited. I ain't here to put you down, but I am here to challenge you to be a better man and better woman. Okay? I have to motivate you the best way I know how to. Okay? Alright, you guys. The title of today's subject is a very extremely sensitive one. So I'm going to be careful. And I'm going to, uh, you know, please drop as many comments as you can. You know, tell me what you think. I'm going to uh, talk about it on both sides. And that is the truth about abortion. I repeat, <coughs> the truth about abortion. Let me explain something to you guys. And, and this, obviously, particularly, I'm pertaining to women on this. First of all, ladies, a man cannot tell you, a man should not be able to tell you where you can and cannot have a baby. That's the first thing. Or make a baby. That's the first thing. Now, as far as abortion, uh, abortion goes and everything, I'm going to tell you this. Now, this is my view. This is not me saying that Okay, remember, I, I can't have no kids. I don't have no damn vagina. But my thing is, is this. Ladies. It's your body. And I know that everything, depending on what didn't happen, what caused you to get pregnant, or whatever the case may be, it should be left up to you and everything. Who, you know, if the baby stays or the baby go. Okay? I'm trying to, you know... Make sure I'm careful with this. It's an extremely sensitive subject, and I understand that. Excuse me. First and foremost, it's just my opinion. Like I said, I ain't no woman, but I'm just telling you my view of it. I don't believe no baby should die. And before you, before you get mad at me, hear me in its entirety. I don't believe no baby should die because all babies and everything are made from God. Hear me, hear me carefully. However... What becomes a problem or an exception why women have abortions and everything that, you know, in a lot of cases makes sense is because the woman was raped, the woman was forced and everything to get pregnant, or uh, a woman, you know, she has drugs in her body, some kind of way was messed around and got pregnant, or something like that, or like I said, rape and everything, you know, stuff like that. In other words, something negatively caused you to get pregnant. Oh, I put it that way. Something negatively caused you to get pregnant and everything. Now, you may, I know a lot of people may say, well, then give the baby off, you know, to the hospital and everything. <laughs> the problem is with that, yes, you could do that. In fact, there's a lot of women that do do that. But the problem is with that, now the baby is left without a mother and uh, without no family. And I say this, like I said. I believe a woman should have full control of her body, okay? Should no man, you know, enforce and everything what, what happens with a woman's body. I put it that way. Now, here's where it becomes a problem, man. Why people say in abortion. And hear me, hear me carefully, okay? I'm talking very carefully when I'm, when I'm speaking to y'all. It becomes a problem when a woman didn't want to get, she was messing around, got drunk one night, you know, Messed around with some guy and got pregnant. 
But she wants to kill the baby. Not because she's sick. Not because she was raped. Not because something negatively happened. Simply because she don't want the responsibility of uh, taking care of that child. That's when it becomes a problem. Or you've had people and everything who, uh, excuse me, you had women and everything who had an abortion with the child simply to get back at the baby's father. In other words, you and the baby's father, they had an argument or a fight, I hate you, he, she hate him, whatever the case may be, and everything. And she figured, well, I'm going to get back at this nigga by killing his child. That's when it becomes a red flag. Please understand something. I, like I said, despite everything, like I said, despite what's going on in the world and everything, you guys, should nobody have to die. At least not before God called them home. And understand, babies are gifts from God. Babies are not something you just laid up and just screwed up and have. Babies are supposed to be tended for and cared for. But the problem is and everything, people obviously are not doing that. You got people killing kids simply because they don't want the responsibility of raising a child despite them messing around. They talking about they wouldn't got birth control and all this shit and everything. If you don't want any kids, keep your damn legs closed. That's plain and simple. Like I said, and listen to me carefully, I said this in a very plain English. The problem is with the, the, the negative part, or the, or the exception to that principle and everything, is that if the mother was raped, or she was forced for some reason, and everything, or like I said, or somebody may have, uh, I don't know, uh, tried to impregnate her, you know, with some from some sperm from a sperm bank or some shit and everything. I don't know. Okay? Or she's um she's too she's not able to take care of the child because she have all those drugs because she have a bunch of drugs and alcohol in her system. This is why I tell you ladies, do not drink and do not smoke. I don't drink and I don't smoke. Now y'all may say, Well damn it, that's shoot, it ain't got nothing to do with me. I understand it, but please understand something, ladies. When you drink and smoke and everything, that causes your baby to be contaminated whatever you are putting in your body. If you put drugs and alcohol and cigarettes in your body and everything while you're carrying this child, this child going to be messed up. They will have drugs in their system. That's why people say in order to save their child, they think that you should kill the child. Because you're going to raise the child and the child going to come here deformed, come here with a learning disability, simply because and everything that happened. Or, i tell you another case and everything. A lot of people say a child should be aborted and everything. And by the way, I am not agreeing with anything. I'm just telling you facts, just telling you stuff. This is not things I'm agreeing with. I'm just telling you stuff. You know, like I said on both sides, why you should get abortion and why you shouldn't get abortion. So don't take none out of context. Another reason, another way that people say that abortion, that a, mother, a woman should have abortion with their child is if that mother was born with AIDS or HIV or some type of uncurable sexually transmitted, transmitted disease. That's another way. Because remember, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Please correct me if I can say I ain't no damn woman. The thing about it is, you guys, if the mother, not times out of ten, if the mother is infected with the HIV, with, you know, with the, some type of uh, HIV or sexual transmitted disease that's uncurable and everything, I think that may get the child, because she's giving birth, but she has the fluids and all that stuff. And don't quote me on that. I'm just telling you I think. Okay, I ain't no damn doctor. I ain't no damn woman. I'm just telling you. If you know better, as, as far as that part goes, if you know better, please drop a comment down below and tell me. Is it true that if the mother has HIV, while giving birth to the child, that the baby would cont uh, contract HIV or something like that. Please let me know. Drop a comment down. But this is why I tell you guys. I made a video before this and everything. So it's called Unhealthy Soul Ties. Please go back and watch it and everything. Watch your ladies. Watch who you open your legs up to. And men, watch who you dive into. I'm just keeping it real with you. You got to make sure. And I'll tell you another thing. As far as men go and everything... Man, you got to make sure, you're going to tell me, I don't care how pretty she is. You got to make sure this woman ain't going to go crazy after she have your, uh, uh, make sure her mind is right and everything while she's carrying your child. She could be, uh, damn schizophrenic or something. 
She could be out of her mind taking drugs and popping pills or something. You got to make sure that she don't mess around and kill you, the child and her. How many cases, and if they had a case before, a woman kill, uh, killed her child. Now, this is after the uh, woman um, gave birth to the child. The child was three, four years old or something. But a woman killed her child, something she gave pains for and everything, simply because she got mad with her boyfriend. And this was her way to get back at her boyfriend or her baby daddy or whatever. Please understand some ladies. Stop using men as a crutch. I'm um, using the children, excuse me. Stop using the children as a crutch or a weapon against men. You got to stop doing that. That's not right. You Again, you know the damn nigga wasn't right and everything when you open your legs up to him. What the hell do you expect now? You married, you, you, you was laid down with something wrong. You gonna get up with something wrong. I'm just keeping shit real. So I'm just letting you know and everything. I'm, again, I'm not saying I'm for abortion. I'm not saying I'm against abortion. Like I said, that is your body. That ain't my body. But I'm just telling you, be careful, ladies, who you let in your body. That way, with some form in your body and everything, you ain't having second thoughts. So I'm just letting you know and everything. You got to be careful with this, ladies. Again, the exceptions and everything. I know some people may, you know, argue say well, that ain't an exception. That's not a good enough reason. I'm just telling you my, my opinion about this particular insensitive subject. Ladies, before you lay down with a man, make sure this damn man got something going on up here first and everything. And he loves the Lord. In other words, make sure he in his right mind and not off the damn brain somewhere. And fellas, make sure she's not off the brain or messed around or, you know, messed up in the head. Because that mental can get you too. And I keep telling you ladies and everything. Again, my personal, personal feeling. I believe all babies and everything are gifts from God. And I believe all babies have a right and deserve to live. But at the same time and everything, if a woman is raped, if a woman is forced into, uh, being pretty much being a mother and everything due to that was out of her will or how to or out of her consent that's where it becomes an option and just my opinion now that's where it becomes an option and everything that she may need to do that because if she does give the child away like i said she go gives the child away now the child don't have a mother or a dad who gonna raise the child she ain't gonna do them getting the child ain't gonna do them getting the system so that's what i said and everything it comes or she's full of drugs or whatever the case may be. That's why I tell you men. It ain't always the women. Watch out for these men. Everything is men too. You got to watch out. You got to watch out, you guys. I just wanted to throw that at you guys and everything. Again, I know it's a sensitive subject. That's why I ain't, you know, cracking no, no jokes or anything like that. Because I know it's a lot of people that deal with this. I know there's a lot of people that have a problem with this. But I'm just telling you, again, the exceptions. If the woman is raped, the woman have drugs in her system that could be harmful to the baby. Potentially, if a woman is diagnosed with an uncurable sexual disease and the way she used to uh, create the baby through intercourse and everything, those might be some things that may reconsider an abortion. It might be. I didn't say they are, I just said they might be. And on the flip side of that, ladies, you can't be getting back at your man because he pissed you off by killing this child. You can't do that. That's rot. That's beyond rotten. Hell, go whoop his ass. Don't hurt the baby. So I'm just telling you and everything. Just make sure you be caught in that. Don't kill that child because you don't want the responsibility. That's an, Like I said, that's another big problem. Don't do that. Again, if you don't want no kids, you don't want to hear no birth control, needle in your arm, and peel all that bullshit and everything. As you see in some cases, that shit don't even work. The woman still end up getting pregnant. So I'm just telling you and everything. If you don't want your baby, you want your uh, stomach to start getting big, then keep what's big out of you. If you get my drift. So I'm just letting you know. This is for right at 19, you guys. Hopefully and everything, I helped y'all out. Hopefully, you know, I didn't you know, uh, uh, say something that was, was incorrect or inaccurate, or, or excuse me, inaccurate and everything, but I'm just telling you, babies are a gift from God. I understand the exceptions on abortion. I understand everything, why a lot of people want, you know, may want to get, uh, excuse me, don't want to get abortions. I understand it. 
But I'm just telling you, don't get abortion because you don't want to take care of the responsibility of that child. Do not get abortion and everything because you want to get back at your baby daddy. That's the worst thing you can do. So I'm just telling you. But on the flip side of that, if somebody raped you or forced you and everything to you know, impregnate you or something like that, that's different. That's different. Or drugs in your system or disease or something like that, that's different. So I hope I helped y'all out. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. And let's hope and pray that all babies live. All babies. Because you have some women who have had miscarriage. Miscarriages for some reason and everything. I just pray for all babies to be healed and be healthy and get here and do Jesus' will. I want all babies to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll holler at y'all in the next video.